Now, there's a real risk to life if those having a stroke and stroke patients have to travel from Thanet to the William Harvey Hospital in Ashford. Vital life-saving services should be provided at the QEQM in Margate. That's the view of the Save Our NHS in Kent group, who are taking part in two demonstrations, one in London and the other in Thanet. Councillor Karen Constantine is a district councillor for Newington and county councillor for Ramsgate and South Thanet MP Craig McKinley both join us now. Karen, good morning. Can I start with you? Tell us the story behind this demonstration, can you? I can, yes. Good morning. Um, People are very concerned about the fact that the stroke unit at Queen Elizabeth um, Hospital in Margate is going to be moved across to Ashford. Uh, You'll be aware that until recently, medical experts have referred to this golden hour as the 60 minutes a stroke victim has to reach hospital and get treatment. Now, we appreciate that advances of medicine have extended that time, but funny, it still remains over an hour from William Harvey Hospital, and that's without the time that you have to wait to call for an ambulance. So we see this as putting people at real risk, and you'll know that Thanet is a very deprived area. We've got a population in poverty, and as a consequence, that population has poor health, lower life expectancy than the rest of Kent. That's undisputed. And ov- obviously, you'll be aware that a stroke is often caused by a consequence of lifestyle. And if your lifestyle is constrained by poverty, you're at higher risk. And that is Thanet. So we don't want to see this service move from the Queen Elizabeth over to Ashford. We think that puts people's lives at risk. So with strokes, it is partly about the first aid, isn't it? How quickly can these vital drugs be administered? And could that be done by paramedics? I think what you need to be aware of is that Public Health England are running a high-profile stroke awareness campaign. Uh, So why does our local service, why do our local CCGs decide to withdraw those vital services from people who need it most? And it's really not clear to me as a member of the Health Overview overview and scrutiny panel how they propose to make sure that the population here is kept safe again i go back to the call to keep the stroke service in margate it's vital to the health and safety of the local people so is it simply a case of opening up an acute stroke unit at the qeqm in margate or is there more to be done do you think I think that's an interesting point, actually. As it stands at the moment, the CCGs have taken out Thanet as one of the options. I've written to them to say, put Thanet back into the mix, because not only have we got the worst health comes here and the worst poverty, it would make perfect sense to my way of thinking and to a lot of the local community to put the service in Thanet to give people the best opportunity of having improved health And actually, by having an acute stroke service here, we would improve our local economy. So for me, that's a win-win. Well, let's put that to Craig McKinley. Can Thanet be included as one of the options? Well, of course it could. Uh, We're in the consultation period of the Sustainability and Transformation Plan at the moment. And I I would say that the key here is that the NHS, no matter where it's trying to do uh, changes, it has one focus, that's to make ill people well. We know that there is increasing specialisation. We've got medical advances coming along that we'd have never even believed uh, years ago. You'd have simply died of many conditions. Uh, but you know, let, let's put this into real context. If you have a serious cardiovascular condition, if you have a serious head injury, you won't be going anywhere in Kent. You'll be taken to London. And, you know, such is the, now the level of specialisation. Now, I, I don't actually believe that Sanit Momentum and, and Karen's crowd are actually medical specialists. Uh, when I've been to public meetings and listened to the clinicians about you know, this plan, you know, they are suggesting that a new regional centre for stroke will actually have better outcomes than we're seeing at the moment. You know, I realise we all want everything on our doorstep and as convenient as possible. Of course we do. That's the, the natural condition. But medical advances are such that I would rather see better outcomes in the best way at the best centres. And that, to me, is part of this plan. And that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the facts, not trying to make this into a political campaign, you know, as appealing as it is for some people. So are you ignoring the expert opinions that stroke care is better provided at specialist centres rather than locally? Well, that's what I'm saying. uh, The the clinicians are saying that regional specialist centres get better outcomes. You know, I'm very concerned about the geography of where we are in in, in Thanet compared to, because we're at the end of the line, if you like. Uh, We do have geographical problems. But um, I'm fighting, and I'm sure Karen is as well, for 
A, A and E to be retained at QEQM because of the geography that we have. I want to see as many top class and top flight services remaining at QEQM. But if there are certain specialisms that have better outcomes and that's provided elsewhere, then I'm willing to listen and to look at those facts. As I say, I've, I've got a, a friend at the moment who's, who's got an advanced cancer and he's going to London for some real fringe medical care that couldn't be provided anywhere in Kent or anywhere else because you know that is often centres of excellence and I, and I think that is the modern medical world rather than you get everything everywhere at your local hospital but the outcomes are poorer. So, I mean, this is the, the real world of medical advances, not just a political campaign, which I'm afraid at many times scares the vulnerable. And I, I think it's a, a pretty poor step to take when we're talking about health care. South Annets MP Craig McKinley and Councillor Karen Constantine, a district councillor for Newington and county councillor for Ramsgate. Thank you both for joining us. If you have opinions to share, text them, if you will, to 81333. Start your message with the word Kent. Or you can call 03459 81111. BBC Radio Kent.